What's going on everyone? I'm back with another video for you guys. Today, we're talking about the Murder Mystery 2 Christmas update. And I actually know a lot about this update and I can't say everything, but by the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you guys everything I can say. And you're gonna wanna see watch to the end. Make sure to leave a like right now if you guys are hyped about the Christmas update. It helps a lot. Just take a second, drop a like down below. I'm also gonna be going over a fellow MM2 YouTubers video, Mr. Colby. He makes great content. He made a response video trying to break down what my secret codes were. If you guys missed that video, we made an MM2 secret codes video where I I put little hints out there and he kind of broke them down and I'm going to I'm going to react to his predictions and I'm also going to tell you guys everything that I'm allowed to say by the end of this video. So if you guys guessed, by the way, my color of DD of choice today is like a teal or a cyan blue. Um, it, you know, I think I, this one's actually pretty fire. Uh, let me know if you guys think that I should if I should just permanently change my color. I don't think so. I think yellow is uh, definitely I don't know. It's just iconic, but it is fun switching it up sometimes. So I'm going with blues talking about the Christmas update. Maybe I look like snow or icy or Christmassy. I don't know. Before I talk about anything about the update, let's start off by reacting to, uh, to Colby's reaction video to us. Okay. So I got his video pulled up right here, by the way, uh, go check it out. I'm actually going to, I just saw it. So I'm going to react to it right now. I'm going to drop a like for on it. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's watch but this. The so. other Obviously, I'm not going to watch the whole thing. I'm only going to watch the parts where he breaks down the the hints that he thinks are actually serious um, and not not my meme ones because I did meme them with a couple of hints. Obviously, they weren't all serious, but he kind of did pretty well. He gave us six different hints and unfortunately, half of them weren't really that half useful. Half of them weren't that but useful. But the other half was actually very useful That's what you information think. that we need to talk about. All right, I want I I to see him. I want to see how he breaks down these hints because he's, you know, he's always been trying to decode the MM2 updates and stuff like that. Um, wait, by the way, I am subscribed to him. I'm just on a different account right now. All so right, the so first the first one. That JD ended up giving us hint. was snow. <laughs> yeah, I told you that some of these hint. hints weren't really that useful. And of course, this one is extremely obvious. There's going to be like snow in the lobby, snow in some of the Christmas. Yeah, you know, maybe snow. Of course, gonna there's going to be some snow, maybe right? Maybe we see like a snow blade godly or something. Or maybe it's something you know, about... I don't really see that yeah. happening. I feel like JD was just trolling with this one. But the yeah. next hint is You're the first right. one. I actually found it a little bit interesting. And this hint was called triangle. I want to know what he thinks about this. Triangle. This is a real hint. Triangles have to do it's a real hint. Mystery too. That's just like a shape. I feel like he's talking about something that's in the shape of a triangle. And the thing I've been seeing the most people talk about is a Christmas tree. Because, of course, Christmas Ooh. trees are in a triangle shape. I mean, trees Maybe. are usually in a pyramid shape instead of a triangle. But when you're looking at it head on, it does look like a triangle. So he's everybody's going to find that they're going to make a Christmas tree in the lobby, which is, is kind of obvious. But I've I'm not talking about the lobby with that. I will say that my triangle hint is not about the lobby. I can, I think I can say that. I think I'm allowed to say that. But yeah, that is true. Um, so far, I think someone mentioned something else that I found interesting. That instead of talking about a Christmas tree in the lobby, you could be talking about a new Christmas tree godly. Because we have seen a Christmas tree godly in the past with Xmas, which came out seven years ago at this point. But in one of seven Jamie's years videos, talking about the Christmas update. Yeah, so he talks about us talking about the Christmas tree. I also thought someone mentioned that crossbows are kind of in the shape of triangle. I mean, you can just look at Harvester. So this could also potentially be a hint on a new ancient crossbow for Christmas. That'd be really cool if this is what the hint was referring to. So let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know what to say about that one. I mean, again, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything up until the update drops. Then I'll tell you guys what I meant. But... You know, some pretty good guesses. I'm not going to lie. Some pretty good guesses. I'm not going to confirm or deny it, but I'm, I'm going to say those are some pretty good guesses. I don't know. Another pretty obvious one that we're going to be seeing a new mystery box in the Christmas update. We've seen mystery boxes in Christmas updates since 2018 at this point. So it'd be yeah. really weird if we didn't see a mystery box. Yeah, so, probably I mean, going to get one. I don't know even know that for that sure. Probably, it, right? So, I mean, there you go. But now let's talk about another very interesting hint. Lobby equals math slash two. It does seem sort of like a math equation here. And in math, the slash means divided by. So pretty much half a map looks like the new lobby. This also seems extremely confusing, but I think but the most likely Likely option is that the new lobby is going to look somewhat like the workshop map. Reason being is again in one of Ooh. JD's videos. They Interesting take on what I said. I can I'll tell you that that I'll say that that's wrong. That's not it. 
That's not the hint. That's not the answer. I'll just get should have given you the answer there. Say it'd be for cool to see a Santa's workshop kind of, theme not. for the lobby. He said last year we sort of had like a log cabin theme for the lobby. So a workshop theme would be pretty cool, especially like the voting area if it looked like Santa's workshop. And the voting area is practically Unless, half the maybe? lobby when it comes to Christmas. Like the voting, like the voting buildings are just so big in holiday updates. It's crazy. Okay, so I, I see that the way he's taking it. Sense. But, you know, it's not exactly that. But. The voting booth was. And it would be sort of relating to a map in the game. But again, this is all just speculation. So again, you can let me know in the comment section if you have any different ideas. Here's another fairly easy hint. And it's coins equals blue. This just means that we're going to be seeing snow tokens coins in the Christmas blue. update. Which is pretty obvious since we see snow tokens in every single year in the murder mystery update. But here is what is, in my opinion, the most interesting hint. And the most confusing one. H2O plus zero equals area so that was a real hint people were thinking that i'm trolling with that hint that is a real hint bro that is a real hint it, it, let me yeah yeah i remember it yeah this one's very confusing and it could mean multiple different things and I'm i not wonder what he's gonna think sure about this if one. any of us even have the right answer but of course h2o is water right plus zero i don't know why there'd be a plus zero there and of course plus zero that'd still be h2o at least in math terms i did see someone mention that this could mean like plus zero in like temperature i guess since the zero could be like zero degrees or something so if it's water that's like zero degrees i feel like that'd make a lot of sense if this meant like ice i guess Yo, listen, again, I'm not going to confirm or deny, but you guys are pretty good at breaking things down. I'm not going to say that that's for sure, but see, you're like, I like the thought processes that is, that's happening here. This is really smart, well, guys, and I'm actually very Jamie's surprised you guys are actually getting channel, information from these hints. I tried to make them as vague as possible. Um, that is pretty fire. I'm actually going to go to the video right now really quick and just... See what people were commenting down below. I need to read some of these. Someone said, I feel like H2O, the area hint, could be an underwater area. That's, that, that, I mean, it could be good, but it's not Christmassy, you know? But they're trying to break it down. Oh, here's the comment with the, with the, that he was talking to. Uh, probably means that the lobby will be half the map. Uh, okay, edit. H2O plus area means that H2O, also known as water, plus zero or zero degrees equals ice. So simplified ice area. I assume area either means lobby or possibly a new map with a lot of upvotes. I'm going to have to give that one an upvote as well. Again, I'm going to confirm all or deny all these things. Um, it, 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 a video after the update drops, obviously, we'll talk about it. But uh, you know what? You guys are pretty good. The zero could be like zero degrees or something. All right, we're so back if on it's the water that's like zero degrees, I feel like that make a lot of sense if this meant like ice, I guess. And of course, cold water turns into ice. So that's sort they of what we're going off of here. But then we get to the equals area, which can also get pretty confusing. But the thing I love these hints, the actually. I love that I'm making you guys like think about it. Rink. Sort of like how in a lot of recent lobbies, we see True. that ice rink. Or we can walk around. True, on I slippery. love this. This could dude. also end up being an idea that I thought of before in a previous video, but this could end up being like a Christmas version of Pond. Like I said in a previous video, it would be cool to see bonus rounds. It could be cool having a Pond, yeah. Yeah, guys, check him out. He makes awesome videos on MM2, of course. And yeah, that is it pretty much. I'm going to say you, my answer to all of this is going to say, I, I'm just going to say you guys are really good at decoding. Um, it's definitely a lot better than I thought you guys would figure out. I'm not going to say that you guys are all right or wrong um but i will say from what i saw so far there is some truth behind it now i'm not going to say which one specifically um it might not even be one of the ones i just saw now some people all i'm saying in the comments were guessing right i think so for some stuff so not everything obviously but some stuff was being guessed right now that's all I really wanted to say about that. And uh, before I go, obviously, I'm actually going to hop into a Murder Mystery 2 game. And I'm just going to tell you guys um, what I know about the update so far. Because I know you guys obviously come to us for MM2 News and, like, you know, the one-stop shop for Murder Mystery 2 content, of course. Guys, the update is really cool. Um, again, this year, I told Nick I wanted to be more a part of the update as far as, like, seeing it and, like, giving feedback about what we think. Um, sometimes we leave it as a surprise. Uh, this year, we're doing a lot of feedback, but also there's still going to be some stuff that is a surprise for us. So what I'm going to say is that so far, I, I can confirm that I've seen some of the skins and I've seen some of the godlies and guys, I think, or I've seen like sketches or like the ideas. I haven't really seen full final ones, which is what I like. You know, I, I don't really need to know everything. Um, 
guys, I think you guys are gonna like the update this year a lot. I think I think everyone's gonna enjoy the skins. I mean, I'm not like I'm not saying the update's gonna be crazy, like different or new or anything like that. I mean, I don't know everything about it. My hair is just crazy. Why is it so crazy right now? What is happening? But what I am going to say is that from the skins that I saw, they are looking really nice. And some of my all-time, I think they're going to be some of my all-time favorite Christmas skins. I think people are going to have some new favorites uh, in the Christmas category for sure. I'm not saying to expect like some crazy craziness, obviously, like, like you know, like some uh, scary mode or anything. I don't think there's something like that. I'm not sure. And as far as the update release day, guys, again, I can't say the exact day. You know, you know, I can never really bring that up, but the Halloween update at this time already has been dropped, but the Christmas update has not been. And that, that's, a, that's totally normal. I, you know, I understand that the Christmas update has been known to be a little bit later. Also, we've had the Christmas update drop on Christmas day once before, I believe. I don't think it's going to get that far guys, but I think it's going to be, you know, in the next few days, maybe. I mean, I'm totally guessing with this one. Don't quote me, but I feel like it's going to be in the next few days. I feel like maybe by this Saturday or Sunday, I'm assuming, but who knows? It could be a little bit uh, sometime into next week because christmas day is next sunday or in like two weeks and then christmas eve is on the 24th so for sure by the 23rd the update will be out but that's in a week from now i think it'll be out sooner than then so we're talking the next few days guys regardless i'm really excited um the godlies uh i'll say the one thing i'll say as like a cool maybe leak is i think what i can say the okay well the skins are looking premium and there is uniqueness in the godlies I'm going to just say that, I guess. I think I'm allowed to say that. I don't think Nick will get too mad at me for that one. I think that's pretty cool. Um, nothing crazy, but, you know, some uniqueness, some some cool stuff. I think people are going to be hyped about it. And I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. Listen, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the hints. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, make sure to stay tuned to the channel for everything to do with Murder Mystery 2. Comment down below what color you think my DD is going to be tomorrow. And again, don't forget to check out our other Roblox channels. Buy some JD plushies down below. Help us out by supporting us in any way. And also, kind of thinking about doing live streams. I don't know what you guys think about that, but let me know in the comments. Uh, and with Joven, obviously, because he's going to be coming back very soon. I love you guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.